Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, a guide to cleaner, greener, better for you, skincare, beauty, hair care, beyond, all the things. I try them out for you, share my honest reviews over here. Also, you have a better idea of what to buy and what not to buy. Today I'm talking about my favorite foundations, my current favorite foundations that are a part of Britt's Picks. Out of the thousands of products that I have tested, this is my short, edited, curated list of the favorites that I would buy again and again, and in some cases I have. I've narrowed down a list of my favorite liquid foundations. I will do a separate video for powder foundations. And I'll link to everything that I mentioned here in the notes below. Something that's really important to know here, no brand can pay to be on this list. When I say honest, I mean it is not paid for. So there you go. And I'm actually giving you my honest opinion. I have three favorites currently, three runner ups runners up honorable mentions. I'm gonna tell you just a few things about each. I'll show you what they look like, how they go on, and then I will link you to not only just straight up shopping the product, but full reviews if you want to find out more information which you can get back on my site. We're gonna start with one of my all-time favorites, which I'll get into it. 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Water Foundation. When I first tried this, I actually didn't really like it, but it happens, and then I end up falling in love with it, and I love this foundation. I have it in a warm 5.0. The shades are always running out. It's just, they're always running out. It's just, you gotta embrace that with this brand. It's not really fun, but it happens a lot. Application tip here. I learned to love this even more with a very light touch of a damp sponge over moisturized skin. Usually it's an SPF that I put on or a cream, a day cream. So I will just lightly dab this on and it it were, it looks so beautiful. It's incredibly lightweight, but it's also moisturizing without obviously feeling heavy because I said it's lightweight. It feels good on my skin. Really solid evening out and coverage. I would say light to medium, we're not talking medium to full, although you can build it up. I just don't build it up too often. I love the way it looks with one layer really, really lightly pressed in. It just sort of does its thing. The finish here is incredibly natural. And when I say natural, I mean skin looks like skin, whether I'm in lighting in here or outside in the sun or clouds, whatever the case may be, no one's gonna see my skin look like it has a lot of makeup on it. Another reason why I'm kind of crazy about it. It also gives, because it's moisturizing, it also gives a little glow, a little bounce. We're not talking dewy but it mixes really well with whatever you kind of want to play with. I use all kinds of different things underneath this and it works really nicely. I've used face oils, I've used creams, I've used tinted SPFs. It works with pretty much anything I've thrown at it. Another bonus here is that it's coconut free. I know a lot of people like to know that, so I wanted to share that. 19 shades, again, right under $50. It's not cheap. There is Japanese honeysuckle. I'm okay with it, but a lot of people have issues. You can Google that and find out why. Not that Google's gonna give you the most accurate information, but you can deep dive if you have time. On to the second pick, which is already in my top 10, so you've already heard about it. And if you are a subscriber and have been following me, thank you, first of all, I really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to take just a second here and invite you to subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like these honest reviews. It's a little thing that helps this self-funded channel out so, so much. But anyway, if you are a subscriber, then you've heard me talk about the Juice Beauty. Phyto Pigments Flawless Serum Foundation. $44 normally, it's currently on sale at around 26 bucks, I think, on Ulta, so I wanted to get this video up today because it's Cyber Monday. So yeah, you can get a deal. I'm a little concerned that this is either phasing out, not the brand, but this formula maybe, which isn't always a bad thing. But yeah, I'm not, I'm seeing a lot of it go marked down even before now. So if you can get it, get it. I probably shouldn't say that. I should probably just swipe it all up, but that's very selfish and rude. So if you can get it, get it. Your well supplies last. <laughs> By the way, that's alleged. I don't know if that's true. I haven't talked to the brand. 13 shades available here. Not as wide of an array, but better than some of the others I have on the list. This feels watery when it comes out, which I think is going to turn a lot of people off, but it, it did me at first, but then I go, okay, fine, put it on the Kabuki brush. My Kabuki brush is my favorite with this on top of prepped skin, moisturized. And you just sort of buff it into the skin. It is impressive, it's very different. It is very much so skincare meets makeup and the coverage here is incredible. I would say this is a very strong medium coverage. You can build it, but I don't, actually don't like the way it looks when I build it up too much, but that's just because I don't like a very heavy makeup look, that's just me. 
And I will often put a drop of this into maybe dewier products or an SPF that I want to make a tinted SPF. I use this as a mixer all the time. Because it's watery and lighter weight, it seems to emulsify better with products. I don't know, it's just kind of magical that way. Because it is also lighter weight in formula and texture, it feels like you're not wearing anything. It doesn't feel like the weightlessness of the 100% pure, that you still feel like your skin is getting moisturized. This really is just feeling like a serum, except a more wet liquidy serum, and it goes on top, and it's not going to feel like you have a lightweight cream. It's just, you don't even know it's on your skin, which for some people, specifically oily skin types, that might be a fantastic thing. I guess that's the last thing I would say. If you don't want to glow, but you want really strong coverage that doesn't feel heavy, look into it. And the last favorite on the list is from Air Prez, which is 20% off right now on Safe and Chic. Not a lot of shades available. That's the downfall of this one. I have been mixing this. I just came back from a trip. I have been mixing this with the Say Sun Visor and the Say Skin Tint or Dew Tint or tints, whatever. The one that has a tint and the one that doesn't, I have been mixing this with it and it is the most beautiful combination. And this morning, what I'm currently wearing is, by the way, it was say slip tint. I just looked it up. Okay. Anyway, and this morning I am wearing this as a combination with, I did face oil, but then I also have Air Perez mixed with the rose ink tint, which I actually didn't really like. And for some reason, I feel like it's working. It's not my favorite finish up close, but at least I get to use the rose ink because I have it. It snuck up on me, this foundation, because at first I wasn't sure. I just wasn't, I was on the fence. And then the more I worked with it, the more I really grew to love this coverage. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter than the 100% pure on me. It does build, but I wouldn't recommend necessarily building this. I don't feel like I get the most out of it. I actually like the natural look that it provides, but it does even out. And I find if I use the Kabuki and instead of buffing, I just sort of tap it into the skin. For some reason that works better. Try it out, you never know. And something else that's kind of interesting here, when my skin is acting up, which it was recently, I had a bit of a skincare mishap on the neck. Such sensitive skin, be careful, be so careful. It's the second time it's happened to me. But anyway, whenever my skin is acting up and I don't want to piss it off, I will use this foundation if I need more evening out. I will use this foundation. It has never irritated my skin. And we're gonna talk honorable mentions because they deserve it. So first up on the honorable mentions is the new foundation from House Labs, the Lady Gaga Triclone Skin Tech Oh my God, so many words. Medium coverage foundation. Okay, whatever. Really loved it here. You, okay, I'm not gonna harp too long on these, but this is one of those kind of one and dones that feels pretty good, pretty good on the skin. And it evens out and brightens my skin. That has a lot to do with the shade as we know. So just take that with a grain of salt. But it did a lovely job at evening out. It felt very weightless. The finish suffered a little bit by the end of the day, but overall I would say it's pretty impressive. I happen to love that it's in a glass container. The next I wanted to mention here, because myself and my mom, my mom's like obsessed with this one. So this is the RMS, a new Revolve foundation that they came out with. It has titanol, I don't, I really like this for very strong coverage. I have tried it with a Kabuki. I have tried it with a fluffier brush from Fit Glow, which I would recommend. That one is the winner for me. I will link that below. And then I've also tried it with a sponge. With a sponge, this coverage looked way too full, full coverage but that might be something you might love. So just keep that in mind. I found it to be almost, it looked like I was wearing a lot of makeup and I didn't like it. But if you want that, this could be a good one for you. Just double check the ingredients list. My skin did feel tight by the end of the day. Didn't really like that. But I also love that it has refills, but it comes in a giant plastic container. So yeah, sensitive skin types, reactive skin types, please take a look. I am not a medical expert. I do not claim to be. This is not medical advice. And just because I like something or don't like something doesn't mean it's going to work for you. I feel like that's pretty obvious, but we're on YouTube, so we need to say such things. And the last is from Vapor. And I haven't talked about Vapor a lot, and I'm starting to see them go on sale. This is a weird and wild time for a lot of beauty brands. It's very challenging for a lot of people and just retailers in general. So I'm just... These favorites lists are gonna to need to be updated probably more often than normal because brands are shutting down, brands are going up in price. You know, there's a lot happening right now as you probably know as a consumer, but this is the Vapor Soft Focus Foundation. It's not the liquidy velvet glow. No, didn't like that one. This is a different kind of foundation. It gives this illuminating, 
kind of glowy, not dewy, really more glowy finish. Some people are going to not like that. Some people are gonna like it. I happen to really like it. If you wanna mute it a little bit, something that you can do is put a little bit, a very small amount of setting powder underneath and then put this on top. I found this to work really well with just my fingers, with the kabuki, it was very versatile. It's also really moisturizing, which I like. Sometimes in winter, I reach for this because it also adds a little life to dull winter skin. That's also why I wanted to mention it right now because in the States, it's about to get real cold. It kind of already is in a lot of places. And the coverage is strong, but it's not a full coverage product. For me, this is sort of the slight of eye coverage where it illuminates and because of that, it's reflecting back and it looks like it's light when in fact you might have rosacea or you might have a little bit of redness or uneven. So it kind of does this wonderful thing, but up close, the finish looks really nice as well. 19 shades covers the full shade range to a degree, but I, I think it does a good job. A lot of these skew on the lighter end, which needs to stop and be revised. Surprised that people are still doing that. This covers a better spectrum of skin shades. So I liked that, of course. And then there is no coconut oil in here. However, there are some other ingredients that could irritate reactive skin types. So do take a look at those. Those are the six that I wanted to talk about today. I have plenty of other foundation reviews that you can check out via a playlist back on the website, all the places. And you can search by whatever you're looking for. So if you're gonna be like, hey, have you tried this? There's a place for that where you can search for it. So keep the foundation hunt going strong if you would like, or if you found something, that's great. That's kind of the point of this. I will be back very soon with new favorites. Let me know your favorite right now in the liquid foundation space. Do you have one? Doesn't have to be cleaner. And share your skin type um, because it just kind of helps provide context over here. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to take two seconds, hit that like button, leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked about it, what your favorite foundation is, share it with a friend. Thank you so much. I'll see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye. This is random end of video stuff probably, but visiting my one and a half year old niece for a week. <laughs> I have all of her songs in my head. I'm singing them all, so it's like, parents, you guys must have this stuff in your head all the time. <laughs> I thought I would also do lips with you. A little Ma Beauty. I never use this, and I just, I kind of want to, I want to. Really nice balm. Not sure I really wanted red. Tower 28. Coral it up. I love a lip combo. This is in Beach Please Rush Hour. And then the Live Tinted, just trying out. And this is in the shade Proud. Glossy. It's a lot, it's a lot. I don't normally do this. But we're testing. We're always testing. Rather bright, no? I like to call this my Fruit Stripe Gum Sweatshirt.